Hi, welcome back to Papa John's Pantry. Remember to like us on Facebook, subscribe to the channel on YouTube, and if you have any questions or comments for me, you can reach out to me at papajohnspantry at gmail.com. This recipe is how to make breading, uh, breading topping. Uh, you would use this if you're going to bake macaroni and cheese on top of a tuna noodle casserole. Um, if you wanted to put a breading like on any kind of a pasta dish, this is, this is kind of one of those universal uh, recipes again. So I am going to move you to the stove here in a second. You're going to need a saucepan, four tablespoons of butter. We're going to use two um, cups of breadcrumbs and a cup of, I have Italian cheese blend, which is a couple you can also just use, you know, grated Romano or Parmesan or this, you know, this is a, this is a blend. All right. So I'm going to move you over to the stove. All right. We're going to heat our. We're going to heat our butter up over a, a low to medium flame. I'm going to turn you off, turn you back on. We're just going to melt this down. It'll take a couple of minutes. I'm going to turn you off, turn you back on when the butter is melted. And as your butter is melting, make sure it's not, make sure it's not browning. It should be a nice... A nice even color if it starts to brown or you hear it make a noise you get your flame too high so turn it down all right the butter is melted I'm going to turn this way way down okay now we are going to add two cups like I said I like to use an Italian style breadcrumb if you can only find plain ones that's fine because uh, you can eat taste this and if you think it needs some salt or pepper or some garlic powder Add it to it. This is one of those things you can play with. Make it taste how you want to. Plus this already hit, this has parsley and stuff added to that. So that's two, uh, two cups of breading. One cup of cheese. Again, you can keep switching your cheese up too until you find your favorite. Of course, it's gonna be all clumped up at the bottom. But about a cup, a cup of cheese. So we're gonna just, so got the flame on, we're gonna break up these, if your cheese has any lumps in it. And that was the, you know, that's the kind of cheese you find with the, in your grocery store with the, uh, you know, with the, um, with the pasta sauce and the noodles and that. So we'll just keep, gonna break up this cheese. Mix this all up. And that is going to be one delicious topping. They say you can add a garlic powder to this, some salt or black pepper, some basil, some rosemary if you'd want. But that is a now a crumbly topping that we are going to put on whatever you'd like. That's how you make a breading crumble topping.